I've been a jockey for 32 years. And how you got introduced to the, to the game? My family was in the business. My grandfather was a Hall of Fame trainer. My brother a jockey, uncle a jockey. Now my son's a jockey. And who, who your grandfather? His name was Buddy Reigns. Buddy Reigns. He won the Preakness in 1962. Wow. Where you from? I grew up in Delaware. Right. What What's your earliest memory of the racetrack? Oh, I've been on the track since I was very, very young. Um, I remember being in the winter circle at Mammoth Park when my grandfather was a trainer, my uncle was the jockey, and I was about four or five years old. What's your um what's your favorite moment in this life? Um, I mean the jockey business is up and down. I've been injured a lot, uh, but I've won some very big races. Um my favorite race was the Brooklyn Handicap uh, at Aqueduct. I rode for my grandfather and went a grade one. And, you know, who was a mentor for you besides your grandfather? Oh, besides him, there was, you know, there's always jockeys that were, you looked up to and uh, wanted to be like and ride like. And when I was very young, uh, Steve Cawthon and Angel Cadero were the guys I wanted to be like. Yeah. Uh, you got a favorite horse of all time? Um, one of my favorites was a sprinter back in, I rode in Maryland before I came to New York. And I rode a real good sprinter. His name was Northern Wolf. Northern Wolf. Wow, and you know we're sitting in Saratoga, man. What makes this racetrack so special? Well, it's it's special because it's it's the premier meet. It's where everybody wants to be. It's summertime, everybody's feeling good. Summertime, um, you want to win here more than any other racetrack in the world, and it's special because it's it's the meet of champions. Right. How important is the men and women that do this job every single day? One hundred and ninety-five percent. Everybody's got a job to do. Um, a lot of people see the glamour of the races uh, with the silks on and and stuff like that in the winter circle. But jockeys work hard. They're at the track at 5.30 in the morning getting on horses for free. Basically, we don't get paid until the races start. Um, but the grooms, the hot walkers, on up, assistant trainers, all the way to the trainers, the owners. Everybody's here for the same purpose, and that's the horse. Yeah. The horse is the most important thing. Um, if you look at old photos of horse racing from the 60s or the 70s, and then you look at modern day pictures, the people change, the clothes change, but the horse looks the same. Horse looks the same. Well, I mean, there's no secrets, but you know, jockeys, um, jockeys are high, strung guys that like to go, go, go all day long. And some jockeys like to go, go, go all night long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me ask you, right, who's your favorite jockey you ever seen ride a horse? Well, like I said earlier, uh, Steve Cawthon, who won the, the Triple Crown on Affirmed. Yeah. But my favorite was Angel Cadero. Angel? Because he changed, he changed the style, um, yeah. even his personality. He, he, the modern-day jockey almost, they don't even know it, these kids, but their, their personalities are just like angels. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Very outgoing, very yeah. aggressive rider, yeah. very uh, aggressive person. So he set the way for what, what the jockey is now. You know, a lot of people bring up Chris Antley. What do you remember about Chris Antley was, I'm glad you said that because he was one of the guys too. He was a natural, as natural a jockey as there ever was. Yeah. He sat on a horse, he looked good on a horse, he could do anything on a horse. Yeah. He was a very, very, very good jockey. Yeah. And you know, I interviewed Jimmy Jerkins, and for him, his favorite jockey was Jose Santos. And another great guy. And it's my era. I, I rode with Jose and Angel when he was done, and then Jerry Bailey. And I rode with Hall of Fame jockeys my, my whole career. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, right, when you, when, you, when, you, when you look at racing, right, versus yesterday and today, what's the biggest difference? You know, the biggest difference is now trainers have a lot of horses. You know, in the old days, trainers would have 30 horses, 35 horses would be the most they had. Now you're dealing with trainers who have two, three, 400 horses in training across the country. And that's been the biggest change in, in the business. And you know, Alan Jerkins? Rode a lot of races for him. What I win stakes for him. What? I had some, some of the greatest stories with, with Alan Jerkins. Um, he knew my grandfather. They were kind of the same era. Um, he was great. He was great to ride for, but he'd get mad after the race. And you never knew if he was mad or, or, or happy, because sometimes you'd finish third on a horse and he'd be happier than ever, and then you'd be third on the same horse the next race and he'd be mad as hell. <laughs> oh, man, thank you. Yeah, that was great.